What's good guys, it's your boy DB and I'm back with another Splinterlands video. Um, in this one, I'm actually showing you how you can get a rating that is eligible for Bronze 2 in order to start earning your own deck, although technically you'll need to at that point make a small investment the cheapest one would be simply renting a thousand power which is very easy to do um in order to start earning your deck once you're up there because that's the that's the division and the league where you'll begin to be eligible to start earning it used to be bronze three now it's two um and there's a lot of new players that struggle with the game they can't really figure out how to climb and i'm going to show you how it's done using nothing but starter cards so let me switch over i've been doing this on a project account that i'm doing with bulldog and my dog has decided to eat biscuits in the back Round. So if you hear a chomping, I apologize. Um, and the, the key cards here are simply Obsidian and Unicorn Mustang. Nothing else uh, is uh, massively important. There are two great cards if you have the mana for we will play. And that is Regal Periton and Goblin Psychic. But as you can see in this battle, I didn't have it available. So I played Kilma, Kilma Princess, whatever it's called. I played the Princess. Um, I also had Fungus Fiend because that's one of the ones I've been delegated on this project. But it doesn't even come into play in the said battle. It pretty much never comes into play in any of the battles. Um, I'll, sh I'll show you, a, a, this is a pretty uh, typical water deck that you'll probably come up against. Um, and then I'll show you how this works. Serpent is nearly always played in these lower levels and then so are healers. Sometimes they have Scavo Hiling in there as well to recover the armor, but we're working around that because we're focusing on a magic deck. Um, and, and this is pretty much what happens in all the battles. Do I win every battle? No, I don't, but I win the huge majority of them. Enough that it's allowed me to climb all the way from novice to on the cusp of bronze one already. Um, as you can see, we're absolutely tearing through. This card doesn't even do any damage. The key is that we can get to Pixie as quick as possible. Um, and we've gone down there. We've lost our, our Mustang, but now we've got a ranged card in front, front that can't even hit us. So it's dead and we've won the battle and we've earned some deck because I've got all this power that's now been delegated. Obviously, you would be able to, you know, if, if you get the rating that's available for Bronze 2, at that point, you may as well, you know, put a dollar into the game to rent some cards and then and, and start tearing the game up. But it's... Um, it, it is not a big investment. I actually, I gave one of my recent affiliates a 50 deck, which is about 16 cents, I believe. And he was able then to use that to rent a thousand power. Um, I think I delegated a card or two just to make it easier for him, but 50 deck was enough to rent. Um, and he played his way into bronze two and started earning his own, which would, then he earned enough to actually be able to rent those cards anyway. So it's it's entirely possible with a very minimal investment. Obviously you will need the spell book, but um, once you've got that spell book as your initial $10 investment in the game, a one-time expenditure, and then you're gonna be able to start winning all these battles. In this one, I used, what did we use? Mustang. We had enough for Periton and Goblin Psychic, and then I've thrown the Fiend in once again. Uh, we've run straight through a life deck. Uh, once again, I'm almost certain that the Fiend lived in that one, because I, do they even have a sneak card? I don't think they do. Um, they, they've got an opportunity card. That said, I'm pretty sure um, it's got a very low damage, so it wouldn't have killed Psychic anyway. We'll, we'll have a look and just make sure this was technically um, a viable battle the where, you know, the, the, the Fungus Fiend didn't win it for me. Um, let's have a quick Butchers, as they say over in the UK. So, all right, we're running through. Yes, yeah, so we've taken one shot from that one, so that would have been one damage. That would have been three. Oh, no, so it theoretically could have killed me. It theoretically could have killed my psychic. That said, psychic's not even there for, for mass damage reasons, in all honesty. By the time he's going, it's already won. We're using Periton and we're using Mustang to absolutely slap our way through this battle. Periton's, uh, sorry, the, the psychic's died anyway. Um, and I've done this in numerous battles. I'll scroll down and, and show you a bunch more. Uh, you can see I, I lost this one. Earth sadly wasn't available, so I tried to win Deku deck and I got beaten. Um, I can't remember what happened, but it's not important anyway. Uh, here we took out a water deck very, very easily. Once again, I, I had Ooze and Fungus Fiend in there, but they wouldn't have come into play against those particular cards anyway. Uh, this one is Mustang and Princess with Fiend. 
Um, okay, they do they do have a sneak card there, which theoretically could have killed Princess, although that wasn't going to be enough for those two cards to beat Unicorn either by that point. Um, here we've got a Death Deck, and we've got Jin, although could have easily subbed him for the Princess. They've got, they've got like essentially the same stats. Um, yeah, there's nothing there that's really going to cause a mass problem once again. We've got, once again, we've got Periton, we've got Psychic in on this one. Um, we're running through, is there even, a, there's not even a sneak card in that one. So again, Ooze and Fungus played zero um, effect on that result. This one I do play Fungus once again. I've got Princess in there with Psychic, Periton and Mustang. Is there a sneak card? Uh, there's not, no, there, 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 there's, well, there's, there's Harpy that could theoretically hit, but wouldn't have had enough damage to have actually killed Psychic anyway, and Princess dying has no bearing on the battle. I um, mean, you can just see as we go down there, we're taking out mirror matches, we're taking out, um, that was a different team, you see, I've, I've got a hill giant now, I was experimenting, um, we got beat on that one, sadly, but back to, back to the unicorn deck, we've taken out the sneak squad very, very easily, um, I'm not even playing fungus fiend or anything in there, I've played Jin, but it, it wouldn't make any difference, because I've purposely seen that they're going to play fire, it's what they've played in every single battle, I believe, so I went slip spawn, which will pull those sneak shots away. If I, if I just show this, Jin doesn't have a bearing in the battle that Princess wouldn't have been able to win for us anyway. Um, yes, yeah, this is just a typical uh, sneak attack with a spy in there for opportunity, trying to reduce the, the damage of, of whatever anyone's doing by playing their disintegrator. Um, and all their attacks are going to be pulled towards Slipspawn early on. And by the time Slipspawn dies, the battle should be over due to the mass magic damage that we have in this hand. Um, and again, it's just the key cards. It's just these three that are massively important in these battles. So if you've got the mana, they're the three that make up your squad. Anything extra, just the cheapest available magic you personally have. Um, and it, it, this video doesn't even only apply to people that haven't spent a penny. You might have just joined and bought some cards. That's great. You've bought some cards. You've, perhaps you've bought some packs. You can still play this. You can still play this and have great success climbing up. You can look at the, look at the win record I have here. And I'm just using, I'm telegraphing what I'm playing. I'm playing the same summoner, the same cards, over and over again my opponents can see this and i'm just beating absolutely everything we've got one loss here um and i believe that battle i was getting i was getting hit a lot from cover and scavo and guardian were constantly keeping one of the cards alive and i was just really unfortunate with a few dodges as well but time and time again, we are beating water. We're beating, we're beating various earths. This person's bought cards. They or rented. They've got wood nymph, shaman. They've got javelin thrower. Um, this person's bought cards, and we're beating them. Uh, that's another hill giant one. We, we're playing. We're smashing. Earth, uh, sorry, life. We're smashing fire. Another, another fire. No, we actually lost that one. What, what went wrong in that one? Did I mess around with something? I likely messed around with something or just got dodged, I guess. Um, always one of those funny rule sets. We're beating that fire. We're beating that earth. We're beating that life. We're beating that death. We're just running through with substantially more wins than losses, hence the climb. So hopefully this will help you guys out um, and make it easier for you to make your decision of wanting to actually put a little investment in so that once you've got the right rating for the league, you can then get your power afterwards and start earning your own deck to further invest with currency that you're earning from the game. This was something I was trying to do early on because I was a little hesitant. I was nervous too, like a lot of people are with NFT gaming. It's in its infancy. I totally understand that. Um, but I'm trying to help all those new players and all my new affiliates through so they can start to get earning and see just how great Splinterlands is. So if you have any questions, drop a comment below. Perhaps join my Discord server. We have a Splinterlands section. I can help you out there. If you have any issues with this, just, just, just shoot me a question and I'll help you out. I'm going to be starting a series called The Monday Mailbag where I'll be answering your questions. So feel free to leave some of those in the comments below perhaps and I can answer them on an upcoming video. Um, like and subscribe. I'm covering a lot of this stuff and over on my Twitter right now, I'm running a giveaway for a gold card. So if you want to be eligible, pop over there. 
Nothing's needed except a like and a comment with your with your username, your in-game name. So I'll be able to actually send you the card live on stream so you know I'm not conning you and it's an actual real giveaway. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Till next time, we out of here.